hi guys i welcome you all in my youtube channel today in this video we will learn about the mathematical economics so let's start first of all we will learn about what mathematics is uh, as we know that mathematics is a very precise language that is useful to express the relationships uh, between related variables whereas we know that economics is all about making choice in the presence of scarcity uh, or we can say that uh, economics it is the study of the relationships between uh, resources and the alternative uses therefore therefore math is a useful tool to express the economic relationships now what is the mathematical economics i want to make you understand that mathematical economics it is not a separate branch of the subject economics rather it is an approach to the economic analysis in which the economists make use of the mathematical symbols in the statement of the problem and also drew upon uh, drew upon known mathematical terms to aid in the reasoning also it refers to the economic principles and analysis formulated and developed through mathematical symbols and methods. It is concerned with the empirical determination of the economic laws using the theory and the techniques of the mathematics and statistics. Now let's learn about the mathematical versus non-mathematical economics. As we know that mathematical economics is not an uh, sub and is not a separate subject of the subject economics, but uh, since uh, mathematical economics is merely an approach to the economic analysis, so it should not differ from the non-mathematical approach to the economic analysis in any fundamental way. The difference between these two approaches is that in the former, the assumptions and the conclusions are stated in mathematical symbols rather than words and in equations rather than in st sentences now mathematical now economic model economic model is a simple analytic frame which shows the relationship between man factors and explains the behavior of an economic theory or the phenomena Economists use models to simplify reality in order to improve our understandings of the world. When we use it as a mathematical equation, it is called a mathematical and economical and economic model. Now, what makes a model as a good model? A good model clearly and ex simply explains a principle without any extra details. For that, in economics, we generally use maths or graphs. Also, equations linking complex factors to study the effects of change. All these uh, factors make a model as a good model. Now, what are the types of economic models? Generally, there are two types of the economic model. One uh, is called the descriptive model and other is called analytical model. In descriptive model, the circular uh, flow of national income is an example of descriptive model, whereas analytical model consists uh, of assumptions, mathematical models like functions and equations, and uh, mostly graphical ex uh, analysis. Now, now what a function is all about? A function or a relationship between the values of two or more variables can be defined as a function when a unique value of one of the variable is determined by the value of the other variable or variables examples of the functions which are commonly used in economics is uh, r r equals to the f of x it is our revenue function uh, also qd equals to f of v it is called the demand function QD uh, equals to F of price income taste 
population, POR, etc. This can also be called as a demand function. QS equals to F of P, cost of production, technology, etc. This is called the supply function. Q equals to F of K, L, where K represents the capital and L uh, represents the labor. This is known as the production function. Or another type of function is used uh, commonly in economics that is C equals to the F of Y, where Y is uh, where Y represents the income level. So it is our consumption function. Now variables and constants. First of all, let's know what a variable is. Uh, a quantity that assumes different values in a particular problem. It is a value that may change within the scope of a given problem or set of operations. So we can say that anything which undergoes change is known as variable. Now what is constant? Constant is a quantity whose value remains unchanged throughout a pro particular problem. Uh, there are two types of uh, constant is one is known as the numerical constant and other is parametric constant now what is numerical constant a numerical constant has the same value in all problems whereas the parametric constant or parameter has the same value throughout the problem but may assume different values in different problems Our function has generally two types of variables. One is dependent variable and the other is known as independent variable. Now let's understand what these two uh, types of variables are. As we know that a function is a relationship between two or more variables such that a unique value of one variable is determined by the values taken by the other variables in the function. These variables can be uh, first independent variable and second dependent variable. The independent variable is the variable representing the value being manipulated or changed. And dependent variable observed result of the independent variable is being manipulated. For example, uh, if every value of x is associated with uh, exactly one value of y, then y is said to be the function of x. Or we can say that uh, y equals to f of x where y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable there are different types of functions among which one is inverse function and this function is commonly used in uh, economics now let's understand what this inverse function is an inverse function reveals a relationship in a function uh, if we can find the analysis to functions with only one independent variable that is x this means that if y is a function of x that is y equals to f of x read as y is the function of uh, x then in the inverse function x will be the function of y that is completely it is inverse uh, we can say that x is uh, equal to g of y or we can say that x is the function of y Now as we know that uh, the function shows the relationship between the two or more values. Uh, the relationship may be direct or inverse relationship. Let's now uh, understand about the direct and inverse relationship. First, direct relationship. <coughs> a positive relationship between two variables in which a change in one variable is associated with a change in the other variable in the same direction. In the same direction, it is known as the direct relationship. In direct relationship as one variable say x increases the other variable say y also increases and if one variable decreases the other variable also decreases now what the inverse relationship is it is completely the inverse of direct relationship uh, in inverse relationship uh, a negative relationship uh, between two variables in which change in one variable is associated with a change in other variable in the opposite direction that therefore in a uh, inverse relationship as one variable uh, say x increases the other variable say y it will decrease and if one variable decreases the other variable uh, will increase for example if there is inverse relationship between education and unemployment this is as in education increase the unemployment rate will decrease this is known as inverse relationship or the negative relationship between two or more variables
this type of relationship that is the inverse relationship and the direct relationship between two variables can be graphed out as uh, the first one it is a graph uh, showing the inverse relationship here uh, on y axis we represent the variable y and on x axis we represent the variable x we are uh, seeing in the graph that as uh, the value of variable y decreases uh, the value of x increases if the value of y is here the value of x is at this place now if the value of y decreases to this place the value of x is going to increase from this to this place this is known as the inverse relationship between two variables whereas in the direct relationship as the value of y increases from this to this the value of x is also going to increase from this to this place so it uh, this type of graph shows the direct relationship this is the another uh, example or another graph showing the negative linear relationship uh, why it is linear uh, relationship because the graph of this uh, uh, these two variables it is a straight line but negatively sloped so negative slope and defines it as a negative relationship or inverse relationship and this straight line uh, it is uh, the indication of linearity in the relationship between two variables whereas this graph uh, it is a positive linear relationship positive because uh, this uh, graph shows that as one variable increases the other variable is also increasing and linear because uh, this is a straight line